Let's see how we deal with the pub. Crush this little tiny bit of resistance. But they just took out what we held before. And then we've taken everything and we need to go hunt them down ourselves. Or we just stay here. And dissuade the Pope from coming back. There are more troops converging on those rebels. I'm very happy with our vassals being very unhappy with that. Ah yeah, let's give Cluny Abbey more support. Ooh, doing really well on gold, I never really noticed. So let's build our castle, huh? Shall we? And let's build our castle. A good investment, right there. And of course we can build something new in our royal palace, which has reached level 3. Hello there. And we're going to go for the royal custodian title. Because those are really nice. I think. And it's really expensive, so maybe we can find something cheaper? I my doubts. Personal combat skill and brave opinion. I think dynasty opinion would be nicer. Hmm. Difficulty choices. Difficulty choices, which is also not the way you say it. Let's go with the historical mural because it's a little bit cheaper. And it gives us dynasty opinion, which we need because... We have so many dynastic rulers. So our score is just going to keep going up. Basically. We don't want him to be able to siege here. So we can't really go away. We we'll just have to sit here and hope that this war isn't won by the papacy before we got our 100% war score. China is winning some wars outside. Italy. Why are you at war, my friend? At war with. Use your words. Use them all. There. Who are you at war with? Second Italian holy war for something. Probably something down here. Let's hope he wins. You're no longer kind. We have too many vassals again. Why is that? Who died and gave us a new vassal? Why did you leave my council? I distinctly remember putting you on my council. Oh well. So we're at 85%. Very good. More deep friendships. So far the Theologian trait did not give us an increase to this. A bit of a shame. Come on, we're holding your stuff. 
Just give up already. From Mia, huh? The last troops. How's this war going? Hope Alexander is winning, but still far away, so we're going to be good. Should transfer vassalage here. Do we have some other Duke account level vassal that we don't want? Necessarily. This guy. Why can't I get rid of this guy? Why can't I give you this guy? What is it with this guy? Who do you belong to? You belong to the duchy of this. Who owns this duchy? This guy. And I can't transfer this guy to you. Oh, because you are the duchy. Ah, oh, damn it. Could transfer this kid. But I don't want to. Fine, let's transfer our son. There we go. And... Oh, really? You jump by 1%? Ooh. Jump higher. Come on now. Jump! I am your emperor and I'm telling you to jump. You ask how high and 1% is the answer. 1% high is how high you jump. Jump? I command you to jump. Jump you fool. Why? Why? Ah, there we go. Let's have peace finally. There we go. Taking away from the papacy. Just as he wins this war too. Ooh, that must hurt. Not me though. Not me. Right. How's your war going? Hispania is winning and What? The Duke of Orleans is kind of failing his little plan there. Let's see if we can't do anything about him Some holy war maybe Upper Lorraine It's this piece? No. I think it was... Bavaria. That's what we probably want to go for. France and Italy are a little bit sick of me using their troops for everything. Well, I will just have to deal with it now, won't they? I think we should go and try get the Varium. Let's do it. Oh boy. Those are not a lot of troops. Those are also not a lot of troops. Why is everyone so depleted? Aha! That looks a bit better. Split them immediately and send them down here. 
this way we have a good amount of troops sitting there. We'll just go siege everything he holds. We have an uprising which we're not going to care for. Because France is probably going to take care of it for us. They are not very friendly to... Oh. Everyone needs to stand down. Our little plan didn't go as planned. Shame. It was a good, good enough plan. Not just quite good enough. Good enough-ish. Non-aggression pact with some high chief. Yeah, certainly. Were you? Why would I do that? No, thank you. We have um, higher standards. What? Okay. The conversion of Silesia. Very good. We are now known as the missionary, just like our dear departed father was. Wasn't he? Now our grandfather, not our father. Our father never lived to see rule as an emperor. Died long before that could transpire. Yes, uh, I'd like to stand down this troop. This army of armies. How about we go tango? Whoops. Nope. Okay, so declaring war on rebellions is a good idea. Generally. Seems like. What rebellion are you? Matters of life and death. With age comes wisdom, they say, or at least it may change the questions we ask, I muttered to myself. I have had trouble sleeping lately, more often than not, while the rest of my court is sound asleep, I find myself staring at the ceiling. I am getting older, each day closer leaving this plane of existence. It is folly to fear such things, of course, yet I cannot keep these feelings at bay. Didn't I used to dream of grander things? What about carving my own path? What happened to my ambitions? I sit straight up in my bed. This is ridiculous. I am the ruler. I have people ready to serve at any whim. Perhaps my chancellors have an idea? If nothing else, it might ease my trouble sleeping. I currently have this picture as my YouTube banner. The Dun's Macabre. Yes, death comes for all. Summon my council. Uh. A meeting of the minds. My council convenes and the faces of my advisors speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. I sit down and the suspense is almost tangible as I leave the question hanging in the air. Finally I speak and without disclosing much of my current nightly restlessness, I convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of life and death and I want to look into everlasting life. They nod slowly. So, what do you think? A spirit rises in the room as my chancellor start to talk. Some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They all have ideas. So this is the event chain for eternal life. I've never gotten that. So, we'll see. Our son. Let's see. He could use his diplomatic ties and send letters and maybe see if someone finds it or he could arrange a wide-ranging search or 
we could look into the books. I think we'll go with our trusted Viceroy Fergal. Well, let's come to a small gathering, yes. Oh, we could restore the Apostolic Palace. Let's do that. And we also restore Stonehenge. No, sadly, the greed of my forebearers was too much for it. Yes, let's give the peasants of Frankfurt some roads. Ah, oh, we could restore the papacy in Rome. Do we want that? Nope. We are, after all, the protector of the faith. It's our duty to protect it from enemies without and within. Even those that claim to be the true voices of God upon this blessed earth. We'll make that a not so important decision. Let's start the carousing. Yes, let's become close friends with our son, you can Tyrol, or rather Tyrol, as it should be pronounced by any good German, and Austrian, and even Swiss man, woman, and child. Why are children not considered men or women? Not a question of gender, but rather of age. Yes, hail to the emperor, hail, hail. All hail to the Emperor. I mean, we have almost traits like we are a genius. Almost. A subtle touch. As per my orders, my Chancellor Viceroy Fergal has been corresponding with all the important scholarly nobles of the known world. Some of them have been intrigued by the inquiries put forward. Others have been skeptical while some have been outright dismissive. However, a select view have been relaying mysterious rumors from the north. Stories surrounding... Sounding nothing short of magic. Ergol informs me that one contact in particular is worried about the repercussion if it became known that they have been entertaining these borderline heretic ideas. It pains me to say, my lord, but this sort of gossip does not come free, he says. Rouse for it. I may be a diplomat, but I am not a hypnotist. You can't quit now. Make sure this gift reaches your contact. Yes, we shall need to keep our money together. And maybe ransom some prisoners. Let's see who we got here. Not just this guy we don't care about. Let's set him free for a prize. Who have we killed anyway? Fine people, that's not all that much yet. The magnificent palace of Umumhain has become a center for travelers and commerce, and some people have decided to settle close to the magnificent construction. The latest reports mention children, dogs, and cattle. They're obvious putting down deep roots. Oh, yes, hello, thank you very much. They are welcome to stay in Urmumheim. Which gives us the last plot of expansion down here. Which means another castle at some point. That is lovely. Yes, it is. 
All right, what do we build here? Not the royal custodian. Or... Don't care. Personal combat skill plus three and brave opinion. Sounds better than it actually is, I think. Uh, disease resistance isn't too bad. <laughs> I think we should go with the Royal Custodian. Let's do that. And also let's check on our minor titles. Who's holding what? The most skilled shall be in places where they shall be. Who doesn't like us all that much? Who should like us? Fort Eunuch? Oh! What does it give? Plus 10 opinion. Can be Court Eunuch. He's a king and a viceroy. Are we faring troop wise? <laughs> oh wow. That is slightly insane. Are there any factions? Yes, and they are very, very strong. Increased council power. <laughs> you wish. Should we have our nobles send more troops? Definitely more taxes from the church. No one can object to this. Everyone should be happy with more taxes from the church. Do we even have anything who's negative? Oh yeah, there. This duke. Shame for him. We can't go to war for a little while longer. Let's see if we shall find eternal life. All right, let's let's learn some foreign languages. Why not? A mystic appears. My Chancellor Fergal is beaming. You know how Helgi can be. I had to make sure that it was his son who mentioned it first, and then it was easy to make it seem his idea in the first place. And well, I won't bore you with all the details, he says, clearly excited to have something noteworthy to tell me. When I roll my eyes for the third time, he finally pulls it together and skips to the part about the mystic woman, allegedly traveling the whole world, strange wonders following her footsteps. Oh, master, I think you should invite her here, he urges. Let's hear this woman out then. And I've never once made the right decision here. I'm sure I could just go look it up. What I need to do to find eternal life. Ah, uh, an intriguing encounter. I expected a wrinkled old crone, but the alleged mystic standing before me is something entirely different. Although she is very different compared to all the other women at court, no one can deny that her beauty is breathtaking. With a voice as soft as lamb's wool and tinged with a foreign accent, she introduces herself as Eden. I invite her to dine with me and her conversation is most intriguing if not outright controversial at times. She claims to hold the secrets to eternal life and vitality and offers to teach me more if I am willing to accept her quest. 
While it is possible to know if this fair maiden speaks the truth, at least she seems very experienced for her tender age. But is she immortal? All right, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yes, I will accept your teachings, Idun. Eternal life must be mine. And we are now consorting with the evil beings, with infidels. Well, it didn't. It cost us one guy's taxes. Ah, well. A serious concern. Okay, now it gets difficult. Vice Referrals joins me after supper one evening. He initiates a conversation about the status, the status of trade in the realm, but I notice that he seems distraught. I interrupt Fergal and demand to know why he has sought me out. My dearest father, I fear for your life, he says earnestly and seizes my hand. Who is this sacrilegious heathen you have invited to your court? Her promises are sweet, I am certain, but she cannot be trusted. Please, father, allow me to find out her motive before it is too late. Well, he brought her here. Nonsense. I'm sure you're overreacting. We're going to die so hard. But that's okay. Our succession is secure. Nothing bad can happen. That's at least what I tell myself. Nothing bad can happen. Where is this revolt now? They're already engaged. They won't stand long. Unfortunate for them. Very unfortunate. The Fellowship of the Glade. Idun tells me a tale about the hidden glade in which an ancient apple tree grows. The apples are most delicious in the world, but more importantly, anyone who eats them become young and new. She offers to help me find the glade, but she also warns me that the search will not be easy and potentially very dangerous. Idun urges me to form a fellowship of brave warriors to aid me in my quest. While I could just order some of my soldiers to tag along, she insists that they must follow out of loyalty, not only by duty. She suggests that I engage, arrange a grand feast and speak to them from my heart. I shall spare no expenses. I like how I'm upset about heathens popping up while I'm doing this thing. Oh yes, let's see where this leads us. <laughs>